I just watched this video on YouTube. And this dude, I guess, was showing his receipts. Your brother Polite allegedly scammed him. And there's like a great number of videos on YouTube where people, I guess, in their own way, they think they're exposing Polite. But in reality, they're only exposing themselves. I really don't feel sorry for these people. Because who in their right mind will send $3,500, $2,000, $1,000? People are putting their, their houses up. Hey, yo, polite, man. Big ups to you, brother. I give this brothers, I give this brother so much prop, man, because it is so easy to scam black people. It's always been that way. Since your ancestors were taken into captivity, black people were deceived. I almost guarantee you before they were taken into captivity, the white man came along and says, I got some free stuff over here. <laughs> come on, come on over to my ship. You know, I got, it's in my ship. It's in, my, it's, it's in the boat. Come on. You want some free stuff? It's, it's right over here in the boat. And them Africans followed that white man right onto the boat. Although we know it didn't happen that way, but they probably followed him to the boat. And once he got him on that boat, he said, okay, just have a seat. Sit down. You know, I'll give you some. So what do you want to drink? Anything you want to drink, eat? You know, you want to relax, take off your shoes. And they felt comfortable, you know, take off, just relax a little bit. And while they were sitting there relaxing, in the boat started taking off. <laughs> and then they found themselves in captivity, Right. So black people are so easy to be scammed, man. And the same game is being played on black people that's a part of the Democrat party, man. So you got people like Bernie Sanders, and I don't mean to get into politics, but you got people like Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton and the Democrats come along and say, look, we're going to give y'all some free stuff. It's the same game that they have been pulling over the heads of black people, they still it still works. So you can't get mad at polite man for doing what the white man has been doing all these years. I remember, man, I remember when I was younger, man, I got caught playing the three card molly in New York City, right? And it's like, you know, tell me where the ball is, which card is this, right? And I was like, put my money up, man, put my money up and whatnot. Man, that dude got me for a couple of grand that day, man. Because <laughs> I just knew that my eyes were quicker than the hands, right? <laughs> I was young, right? But I just knew my eyes, and that was just my coming up, you know? And it's like, dude got me. So I'm like, all right, cool. I couldn't get mad because I was the fool. At the end of the day, I was the fool to put my money up like that, thinking that I can scam or I can outdo the scam artist. Now, I'm not gonna say polite's a scam artist. I can't say that because I've never been scammed by him, right? As a matter of fact, I've never been scammed since that time when I was younger, in my, my teen years. So, I can't really say that I've been scammed, right? Because I'm smarter than that, right? But it's crazy that black people are always following. And, and listen, all you got to do is come along and start talking hotep, start putting on a church, speak against the preachers and talk about how the pimps in the pool pit and how God is not real and how people are giving their money to these churches 
And this is what Polite them did. Give your money to them churches, them preachers. In other words, give your money to me and I can give you a perfect credit score. You know, and what was that thing Polite had going on? And I was I, I was laughing to myself because I knew, I mean, I, I saw, I saw it all. That, I, I, saw, I saw the snake oil, right? He's a snake oil salesman, right? And I ain't mad at Polite. He's doing what he do and he's good at what he do. And he'll get that serious look on and start throwing some words at you. And I wrote some books and you gonna think because he wrote some books, you know, he's legit and you start handing out your money to him and then you want to get on the internet and make videos and cry about how you were scammed. You know, you want to put the brother, somebody made this meme right here. Cancel, conspiracy, scam artist, brother no light, you know. But at the end of the day, the brother's like traveling, man, on your expense. All he had to do was talk some hotep nonsense, and I tried to warn y'all in the past, but you guys were telling me how much of a hater I was and how jealous I was. So now, like in that movie, <laughs> Major Pain, who's the dummy now? <laughs> so look, I mean, I ain't mad at Polite, man. He, 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 he good at what he do. Right? So I can't, I'm not mad at this brother, man. But I'm laughing at y'all that's making these videos. Call yourself exposing this brother. And you're doing nothing but exposing yourself. You're the dummy. You're showing how much of a dummy and how unintelligent you are. What was that thing Polite was selling? And he was he was pushing that hard too. Um, what they call that thing? Uh, oh. I guess it was some papers or something. What they call that thing, man? I forgot what it... I know as soon as I finish this video, it's going to come to my mind, right? I'm going to remember it, right? But Polite was talking about, you know, get these... Uh, what did he call that thing, man? And people were, like, putting their money up, sending this dude thousands of dollars. <laughs> and then I remember Polite, there was a video Polite did when he was out there, you know, using some uh, containers saying that they are building homes and you can invest in this. And people are like putting their money out there uh, because it's polite and he wrote books and he's, you know, doing his like little, you know, speeches and whatnot. And you jumped on the bandwagon. Man, listen, it ain't nobody's fault but y'all, man. You might as well, you might as well take this L because you gave it to him. I remember, I'm trying to think of the name of that paper that the polite was selling, man. Uh, but anyway, I remember this white dude, man. It was I forgot what cell phone that was. I don't think it was an iPhone. But it's one of these expensive phones, man. Happened several years ago. And the white dude had the phone. So he was over a mutual friend's house of this other dude, of this black dude. They knew the person that they, they both was visiting this person's house. And so the white dude had his phone. The black dude was like, yo, let me hold that. So the white dude, thinking that this brother's on the up and up because they're at the same house. They know the same people, right? So he gave his brother his phone. Let him hold the phone. Next thing you know, the brother like walked away. He kept the phone. So the white dude called the police. The police came and the police asked the white dude, how did he get your phone? And the white dude says, he asked me if he can hold it and I gave it to him. So the police says, so you handed him your phone. Did you know him? No, I didn't know him, but you handed him your phone. Well, I thought he was cool because we have the mutual friend and we was visiting a mutual friend. So I thought he was cool. And the cop says, so he didn't take the phone from you. You handed it to him. So you handed him your phone. The white dude said, yeah. The cop says, there's nothing we can do about that. Because at the end of the day, you handed it to him. You gave it to him. And the white dude sitting there looking like, I can't get my phone back. 
cop said you gave it to him. Right? So, y'all might as well count this as an L. Take the loss. Try to learn from this. Right? Anybody come to you preaching hotep? Talking about how the preachers are no good and the pool, pimps in the pool pit and they're concerned about somebody else's pockets. And then they turn around and tell you, oh, I'm I'm like starting this child. I'm trying to help these, these kids out there that was abused, right? So I'm helping with this teen center and we need some donations, right? And then y'all start going in your pockets giving this person some money because they showing you some pictures of some little kids. You know what? They play that same game every year with that care commercial. Y'all remember those care commercials come on TV and they always show these little kids in Africa somewhere in a poor section of Africa with flies all over their, all over their face. And next thing you know they said just give a small donation. Just $3 a day, 2 cents a day. We'll get this child some food. Man, y'all start writing them checks. Y'all start giving your credit card information. And they show them same kids, man, for the last 50 years. They've been showing them same kids. And every now and then they, they switch it up. And there was a comedian that even talked about that, man. He was like, he was like, <laughs> he said that them comedians, they do it for the camera like, hey, Take that sandwich away from that kid over there. Kid be eating the sandwich. Take that. He got to look hungry. Right? So, it's all it's all a scam. Right? People are being scammed every single day, man. It's like, listen. If you order something from a website, you get that thing in the mail. Okay, now, y'all exchange. But if somebody tell you that they got some status correction, that's what it is. Status correction. Polite was selling status corrections. And people were putting up their houses. They were giving up their money. They was their tax returns. I mean, their, their life savings. Status corrections. I have no idea what a status correction is. But Polite was selling a whole lot of status corrections. <laughs> Some papers, right? And next thing you know, Polite moved out of New York, right? He moved out of Brooklyn, and now he's in Cali. He claimed to have bought a house in Beverly Hills, and now he's traveling back and forth. You know, he went over to uh, Asia. Allegedly, he was in Dubai. He did this on your dime. So take this as a loss. I ain't mad at Polite, man. As a matter of fact, Polite, you my hero, man. You my, you my hero, man. Polite played the game well, and he's still playing the game, has some celebrities. <laughs> Polite went to California, now he's helping celebrities. Had a celebrity on the camera talking about, yeah, Polite is gonna help me out. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. But anyway, listen, y'all stop making them videos, man, because you only making yourself look like a fool, man. You know, I just finished watching this video, and this dude up there talking about, yeah, Polite's a... He's a scam artist, and you showing, and he's showing his, his his cell phone. See, this is what I sent him right here. I sent him this, and he scammed me. You the fool, right? You making it seem like polite's the bad guy. Polite is only doing what he do. That's what he do. So if you fall prey to that, that's on you. Count that as a loss. So feedback. Tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm fearless.